Something else I wanted to ask about is the way we're going to shuffle TV here. Meltzer would write this. The NWA has made a lot of other changes since Thanksgiving. The TV package has been restructured. It appears the NWA will cut down to two TV tapings per week, one taping for TBS, and the other will be an arena taping for the syndicated package. NWA Pro and Worldwide will become the A-shows with Jim Ross and Bob Cottle handing NWA Pro and Tony Schiavone and David Crockett doing Worldwide. The UWF show apparently will be dropped. Power Pro and CWF Wrestling will continue as B-shows and that they will consist of matches that have already appeared on the A-shows. So it's important to remind everybody that you guys are actually trying to sell a package of shows. And so you're even calling it like the wrestling network and saying, we can do this and we can do that. And, and, and that's what you arm your sales force with uh, across all these hundred and some odd stations. But Meltzer would say that, Hey, all of these new shows that we now have to build and service, that's also probably going to, uh, spread dusty a little thin. Uh, yeah. I could see how, as you said, burnout becomes a real thing here when instead of focusing on one show, now you've got half a dozen. Yeah. There's no, uh, there's no season as we all know about pro wrestling. So there's never an off time. And, and when you got a booker, that's so possessive, uh, that he's just not going to give up. He's not going to lose his grip uh, anywhere, but you know, there's no reason Dusty had to be working, uh, tirelessly on all those syndicated shows and all that stuff, because it became same as it became, there's no creativity. It was just getting guys work. It's filling out cards, nothing exceptional. The, the heavy duty creative stuff was essentially saved for TBS and, uh, and then every now and then we'd get some good stuff on those uh, syndicated shows. You know, I, I was working with Bob Collar, which is one of the great joys of my life. Uh, I love Bob, still love him. What an honorable, good human being he is. And it, 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 a lot of people didn't even know who Bob Cottle was outside mid Atlantic. Uh, and they soon found out that Bob Cottle was a hell of an announcer. Yeah. And I, I just love traveling with him. You know, when you travel with Bob, you, it's like traveling with your uncle, you know, your, your heavy liquor is a diet Mountain Dew or something. Uh, you know, we our big task in a day was find where we're going to have lunch at driving to the next town, things like that. Just enjoyable, civil, good stuff. And he, Bob Cottle should be in any hall of fame that exists yes. for, pro, for pro wrestling people. He's just, and I know I work with him. I, I know how he prepared. I know how he worked. I know he was open-minded, you know, I, he, I'm in his, I'm in his territory, so to speak. And I'm the play I'm the lead. And, and that's the job that he had and it didn't affect him one bit. He didn't, he wasn't boo boo faced. He wasn't, he didn't have a chip on his shoulder. He was just, he was just amazing to work with positive. And, uh, I, I just love Bob and those that have never followed his work very much. I, I encourage that because you'll find that you're discovering, uh, an announcer that never got, you know, he was, he's like Lance Russell in a sense that he was married to one territory and nobody knew who the hell Lance was. They did. I shouldn't say it that way, but they fewer people knew who Lance was before he went on TBS than when he did. Right. So you got two veteran hall of fame kind of guys that really didn't get their breaks until the TBS exposure. That was a big deal. I think that was one of the things uh, there was a time there, Conrad, you might, you probably remember it better than I, where, uh, I think. One of the reasons Shivani left WCW was because he was, they were going to use me on TVS and use him in syndication. Yes. And I think that, that kind of pissed him off and he had an opportunity to go to work for, uh, Vince live in Connecticut with those five kids and boy, I have five, five kids are sobering. <laughs> yeah. Especially with Lois Shivani. I mean, let's just call it like it is. 